What you see there is the moon behind some uh, light clouds. It's been a rainy day here. A few storms are in the area and lots of rain that, um, that my garden really needs out here. Let's see, what you're seeing right here are the, uh, the tops of my Jerusalem artichokes just gotten so big. It's been hot here, hot here for most of the time lately. And um, I don't do well with the heat. So it's nice to be out here at night uh, making this video. What I wanted to talk to you tonight is about um, storms and sheepdogs, sheepdogs and storms and getting ahead of those storms and shed wars. Why was shed wars invented? Okay. It was born of uh, four friends and uh, one of them saying something, uh, I believe Jason Avers talking smack about um, John's shed and how dirty it was and how he needed to clean it up. And John um, talking about Mark shed. And from those beginnings of people trash talking each other's sheds, we wanted to turn it into something more than that, into a way to bring out a message for people to grow their own food. And we saw the need for that. We saw a storm headed, okay, headed right at us. And that storm is one of food production. And now I'm sure that most people, whether you're in shed wars or not, um, have seen the troubling news of shed wars. Uh, or the troubling news of our food production. And people are starting to become nervous about that. And they're taking matters into their own hands finally, now that their attention has been gotten by the news, now they're wanting to learn. So uh, I would encourage you, right now is the time to do that. Right now is the time to grow your own food. Now we're going to have a spotlight on my pepper. This is my pepper that was born of one of those relationships. John at Will It Grow. A friend, much like a brother to me in, in uh, many ways, many of us. Uh, that little pepper I'm pretty proud of. It's a special pepper. The message I want to bring to you tonight is that right now is the time. I've had, I have had comments on my channel and I've seen them on other places of people that say, oh, I can't wait for next spring to start growing a garden, okay? The message of shed wars, besides growing of lots of food and showing it and going for the prize of the heirloom seed package from Baker Creek, that is going to be incredible. And the team that wins will get to share that Again, I'm going to say, that is wonderful. That's the trophy, okay? The message that we're bringing to everyone in Shed Wars is this. Start growing your own food now. Don't wait till spring. Don't wait till things are right. Don't wait till you have everything um, perfect for you to start. Start right now. Fall gardens are being put in. Depending on where you live, anywhere in the world, um, is a time for you to be growing some of your own food. Do this now. Right now. Find something that you like that will grow in your area. If you like to eat it, start growing something just to get some experience in. But do it now. Get it started. Now, there are many people that, that don't have to worry um, about food right now um maybe you have a very very deep pantry okay and it will last you a long time this is not for y'all people that have such a pantry are not true worried about growing their own food and scrambling around you know just right now or they already are growing their own food this is for the people that are watching everyone's videos or mine and you're not growing your own food do that 
okay? I wanted to bring you a little bit of history that went into the thinking of why we need shed wars, why we are trying to bring this message out to people. And this is going to be some of the channels that that I have watched over years, okay? For years I have watched these channels and gotten uh, the news about what's really going on in the world that you just don't see just anywhere. They've dedicated their channels to showing things that you don't see anywhere, okay? But there. Me watching these over the years and other people that, that were involved in the creation of Shed Wars is why it's here. This news. Let's go in here and uh, activate a little view master. Okay. Now, who is this? This is a lady that has nothing to do with Shed Wars. Okay. But she has inspired me with her story of what her and her family are doing right now. They have lived on the Gulf Coast um, of America, down around Texas, down in Texas, and they were in direct path of the two hurricanes that were walking toward their home across the Gulf of Mexico. A few days ago, it was put out, a warning was put out that people, you know, need to hear. Get ready for this storm. It's coming. Two hurricanes. They had a choice. They had to they had to make a choice, okay? Do we sit still and do nothing? And maybe it'll be okay. It's always been okay, you know, and this doesn't look like anything too bad. But they had a feeling from what was said that they needed to search for higher ground. They did. And now they're on a journey to, to get themselves in a safer place. It was a difficult decision. They knew that to pull up stakes from where they were to move and to take action was going to be, well, basically a, 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 a chore in itself. But they didn't like the idea of storm surge sweeping them out to sea either. And so they, they're on this difficult journey right now. You can find them and catch up to them and offer them your um, support, you know, a kind word through a family that's in a stressful situation right now. They chose not only to get ahead of the storm, but they also did it early enough to get ahead of the crowd. They made a decision when that decision looked like it might have been silly. They didn't wait. We got a truck going by here. Okay. They didn't wait till it made perfect sense. They took a gamble and left when it might have looked silly to do so. They made their preparations then. And now the place where they were from is gridlocked. And people can't get out as fast as they want to. Great job out there, Chatty Cathy. You and your family, I hope you stay safe. It's a difficult journey you've got, but you've done well for yourselves, okay? Now, let's go back in time a little bit as I give you some of the ideas or some of the channels that have brought me to the current position that I'm in and what I value and what some of the rest of the Shed Warriors when we started this have valued. Let me take this back a little bit and this is going to be a shout out for some channels that you probably have heard of. Some of you have not. The big channels, if you go find them and get your news and information or what they have to offer, the big channels won't even know that you've shown up. Um, you, can, you can give them uh, your thumbs up, leave a comment if you want to, and, um, and take their information that they're offering. And they're so big, they won't even know that you're there. But um, it'll be to your benefit to pick them up. The smaller channels that I mention, when you go and meet them, if you do, please do so in the right way. Show up as a friend. If you're going to say, hey, I like what you're doing, I want to be your friend, I'm going to subscribe to you. If you do that, offer them a clean hand of friendship. Just stick it out there. And have a nice clean hand for them. 
um, find either their latest video or one of the videos that they've got of your choosing that are the length of time that you want to spend and watch it. Watch it all the way through. Give them a thumbs up and leave them a kind comment. If you do that with people, um, you don't know. Maybe they'll come back and see you as well. But you've met them as a friend and given them the gift of your attention there for a little bit. Okay, some of the channels that people really should pay attention to right now if you don't already. I have l foregone a lot of the channels that I used to watch for my entertainment or whatever uh, and, and so that I had time to support the people that I wanted to support that were my brothers and sisters on YouTube, okay? And so, but these are the channels that I have not quit watching because they're so important to me and have been for years. This is a fantastic one. All of these are going to be great. I suggest to you, if you don't have full spectrum survival, you go find them, okay? I would suggest this channel right here, Adapt 2030. These are incredible channels. You can see their numbers. The news and information that you get from these, you won't find anywhere else. Ice Age Farmer. Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Suspicious Observers. Wonderful channel. All of these are. Green Griggs. Alaska Prepper. He's kind of new to me. I like what he's doing. Okay. These are great people. If you are sitting there in your apartment or your home or whatever, and you're just watching, you know, whatever you're doing, but you're not growing your own food, you're not getting ready for these storms in any way. We have an economic storm headed to us right now. We also have a, a storm of food. Okay. This storm of food will leave many of us without food. Okay. It's not abundance. It's scarcity. These are people that I've shown you so that you can find out information and, and help you. Now, this man right here, he's new to me. I like what he's doing. These people that I have mentioned are the sheepdogs. The sheepdogs are standing there in the field guarding the flock and, and, and doing a lot of barking and warning you, okay? This man here, he's a sheepdog. He's new to me, and I love what he's doing. Urban Grandpa Prepper great guy and I support him with whatever he's doing he's he's doing great another one that I've picked up that's new to me is die bullfrog 79 uh, I really appreciate him and the things that he offers up every day these are people that are old to me that I haven't left and new people that I've picked up and I don't um, I don't miss what they do. You know, you'll see the bells on some of them are clicked and some of them not. It doesn't matter. Let's see who is next here. <clears throat> okay. Now, another channel that I have watched to learn so much about what I'm doing here is Jack Spearco. If you want to know how to take your property, whatever you're doing, and start integrating food production into your property in so many ways, find Jack Spearco. You will find a huge amount of things that will help you. This is one of my heroes in this type of thing. David the Good. Not a whole lot needs to be said here. Most people know David the Good. Amazing man, amazing channels. And he has been preaching survival gardening for years. And you, you will be very well blessed to find his channel. Now here's one that a lot of people may not have heard of. Ma Dodell. This is a man in the Philippines. And he is a leader amongst his people. He is trying to feed an awful lot of people in the Philippines and trying to help them. 
but he's known throughout the world by certain people. I'm one of them. The things that he shares from his place at the Philippines can be done just about anywhere in some way. Uh, the Philippines, uh, they're, they're all about growing some food. And Mod Odell will help you and show you things that you've never seen before. Now, where we go next. What if all the news is uh, bringing you down? What if you need a little inspiration from time to time? Okay. We had a little, little of the bad news kind of news and help you get through things. What if it gets just a little too much? And you want to brighten, brighten your day. I have two channels that I do not miss every day. Every day they put out a video. Jessica Love is one of those channels. A little quick one minute inspirational video. Every day is good for me. The other one is Granny Marino. I never miss her. I do my very best to find Whatever Granny Marino puts out when she puts it out, okay? A great, great person right there. Bringing everyone an inspirational message with each episode that she does. Sometimes we need that. And I say every day we need that. Um, it's a battle that goes on every day uh, in our lives. And these people that are shining... Light in the darkness are, um, are, are are wonderful. They're doing an amazing thing, just like the gardeners and anybody else teaching you things. Now, there's one more. One more channel that for years I have followed. Um, cheap RV Living. Okay. Bob Wells. Bob Wells, a long time ago. Uh, gave me the idea of how I wanted to do things in my future. A minimalist lifestyle. Get an RV, a cheap piece of land, and not have too many worries. Not have to worry about the big mortgage or rent or anything like that. I'm telling you, uh, Bob Wells offers up so many examples of people living their lives to the fullest while not spending so much money in doing it. No mortgage, no rent. People living a nomadic lifestyle or not. I'll let that be the last one. Um, but Bob Wells there has been one of my most uh, sought for uh, content. Because I love seeing people living that way. They're not worried too much anymore. There's an economic storm coming, a large one, bigger than most of us have ever seen. There's a storm coming with food, bigger than most of us have ever seen. It will dwarf anything that has gone before. The, that is the message of Shed Wars, and that has been what the focus of my channel has been about, to help spread that message. Wherever you are in the world, whatever your situation is, the music has stopped. Do you have a chair to sit in? That's really it, folks. That brown, wonderful, fertile stuff that gets everywhere, it has hit the fan. Okay? Um, make your arrangements. All right? Do it now. Don't wait for spring. This time next year, all right, it's August. One year from now, next August, our world is going to look like a completely different place. And all you have to do is look at the signs, look at what they're showing, and maybe take right now as a chance to make the move that you need to make, even though you think it looks silly right now just like Chatty Cathy did and her family. They're safe from the storms now. And I want each of you to be safe from those same storms or from the other storms of life. Start growing your own food. Do it now. Get something simple. And start learning how to grow your own food. That'll be it.
I thank you all for watching. If you've made it to the end of this video, I thank you even more. I hope that you get something out of this video. And I hope you hear what I'm telling you. The time is up. Get ready. I'll see you later.